So the new independent grouping of MPs find themselves already tinged with scandal. Now, who knows exactly what Angela Smith meant to say, but I'm not going to jump on the outrage train just yet. Credit to Angela, she was tired after months of wrestling with her conscience over not leaving the Labour Party after the rampant ongoing anti-Semitism within its ranks was exposed. Only to decide that if you can't reform an organisation from the inside, you should leave it. It's funny then that this new group only seems to be united in a quest to overturn the biggest mandate given to MPs to leave the European Union. Blimey, what a principled woman. Whatever she meant to say, her outburst got me thinking about the bigotry of low expectations those on the left have towards the working class, women, BME people, etc., in which they see themselves as superior and those of us with something funny in our background needing them to unlock our potential. This is the new racism and bigotry of the 21st century and we need to call it out. These often well-heeled individuals, suffering with guilt from their years of white privilege, see their function as saviours to underprivileged minorities. Newsflash, this mentality hinders progress. They promote manifestos with ever-increasing welfare handouts as opposed to the hand up that capitalism provides, as people standing on their own two feet would lead to true equality of opportunity. And of course, we can never be equal to our betters. It's why they want an ever-increasing government that decides what people can and can't have and seeks to determine what quota of each group can reach certain levels in life. Now, whether they call themselves Blairites or socialists, they seek control at every level of your life. That's why I'm literally a capitalist. I believe in a system that cares for those who need it, but encourages and rewards individual enterprise with the chance to do better and be wealthier than generations before them. Free markets that create employment and allow people like me to stand on my own two feet, not rely on the government for my daily bread. Society that cherishes personal responsibility and builds people up in the knowledge that the individual knows best when it comes to spending their own money or running their life. Socialism or Blairism, and even the managed statism of the current May government flies in the face of this and actually creates more barriers to people achieving their full potential. So to all those people with a funny tinge, I urge you to take your destiny into your own hands. Embrace real capitalism and see how satisfying it feels to get on and achieve through your own merit, not through a government-approved quota scheme or waiting for people like Angela to improve your life.